Welcome back guys, it's been exactly one month since I made a video, work has been crazy, I was thinking I'll get all that out of the way and come back to making YouTube videos. But this crazy pandemic thing happened and it's ruined everything. Of course I'm practicing all the safety precautions, I'm trying to disinfect every single thing in my life right now so I can stay safe and also not to forget keeping my social distance to make sure that I'm safe from everybody. Today's video is going to be dope, I promise that. But before that, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Go back and check out all the other videos I've made because from now on, I'm going to be making videos that can break your heart. <laughs> Just kidding, let's go. <laughs> Welcome back guys to yet another video. I'm very excited about this one, but I was not so excited last week because I was going through a series of crazy panic attacks and anxiety. Basically, I was overthinking. That's why I want to thank Kwame and Doofy for helping me get out of that rabbit hole. These guys have been the lights at the end of my tunnel and I'm really grateful. Kwame has a YouTube channel, has amazing content, so I'm going to add the link in the description so you guys can go and check out his videos. He's really amazing. And also, a little recommendation for people who are also going through severe panic attacks or maybe slight anxiety and uncertainty. Um, as much as we are practicing all the precautions and especially social distancing, um, we human beings are social species to the core. So it's very important that you find somebody you trust and respect or care about to help you get through this time. Sit down with the person or call the person, video call, whatever talk to the person, share how you're feeling. It can go a really long way to help you feel better at the end of the day. For today's video, it's something exciting. I'm going to show you how I designed and animated a flyer I did for a friend's party a couple of weeks ago. Every single thing I used in this, um, in this design and animation was free. I downloaded them from FreePick, PNG World, and I used a plugin called Mr. Horse that works in After Effects for everything. And I'm going to show you the entire process in just two simple steps. Yes, just two simple steps. So let's jump into Photoshop so I can show you exactly how I did it. So this is the asset folder of all the things I downloaded. It's important to keep all your files and assets and resources in one folder so it's easy to find. So let's just shuffle through these things so you can see. Um, this is the leaves and the plants that we use for the design. Uh, these two are the main backgrounds that I used. Uh, this is a background for the first flyer and um, this is the background for the main flyer that we're going to use for today's um, design. So let's jump into Photoshop. I've already opened down the design. So this is the work. Um, you're looking at it now. You can see that every single thing here, it's looking very busy, very exciting. The, the party was um, an Afrotropical themed party. So it has a lot of flowers and plants and leaves and birds. Sort of looks like something that could come out of Rio, um, except we wanted to bring it close to home so people in Ghana can identify that it's Ghanaian. That's why if you look into the center of the design, you can see the independent arc that sort of establishes the origin of the artwork. So let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to turn off some of the layers so you see exactly what's going on here. So um, these two is the background layer. You can see the main um, the main background that I showed you before, the file I downloaded from FreePick. Um, that's the bird. I think these two are the clouds and the lower bottom plants, the blue plants. So basically everything is just going off. So you can see exactly how much work went into this. Super simple. You can finish this flyer in about 30 minutes or 45 minutes at most. So let's put everything back on. Yeah, so basically that's it. Um, a few things you have to pay attention to though is you need to make sure that all the things you plan to animate are on a different layer. This is very important. So when you import everything into After Effects, you can animate them individually. You wouldn't want to put them together. That would be very difficult to animate. So have things like the plants, the bird, the logo, the fonts, and all the information on different layers. So when I have to edit them, I know exactly which layer they are. It's important to name them also so it's easy to find. Else, if you have them named by the default layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, you might not know what's which and you have to turn them on and off every single time. That's gonna waste a ton of your time. So I'm going to save this file and then jump into After Effects to animate them. So for After Effects, we're going to need a software called Mr. Horse. So Mr. Horse is a free um, plugin um, software for After Effects that helps you do a lot of effects, tons of effects. 
uh, for this particular animation, we're going to use the free version. There's an extended version where you have a lot more effects, text transitions and all that. But um, for this particular animation, you don't need to buy Mr. Horse. You can just use the free version to do exactly what you're going to do in this flyer. So um, I'm going to put a link to the software down in the description so you can go ahead and download it and enjoy. I mean, it has a ton of effects which can save you a lot of time. So um, for those people who are new to After Effects, I'm not really going to um, go through After Effects. Um, I recommend that you watch a few tutorials to bring you up to speed on how the software works. Uh, I'm just going to jump into it to show you how the animation works. So we're going to find the source file, which is the PSD file, and drag it into the product panel so it starts to play. It's important that when you import it, you select the import kind as composition and um, select the editable layer cells. This makes sure that every single thing appears just as it does in um, Photoshop. So you have every individual layer and that makes it very easy for you to animate. So I'm going to hit OK. Uh, shows up right here, drag it onto the screen and you have the entire file. I'm going to open up the composition so now you can see that every single thing appears like you did in Photoshop. Very easy. I'm going to turn off every single thing so you see exactly how it works again. And now we're going to start by animating the, the plants or maybe the logo. So I'm going to look through the thing. So this is exactly what I said about naming it. So I know that this is the main logo because I named it main logo. And I'm going to give it a very wavy feel. So I'm going to head on to the menu and um, click on window and navigate to animation um, composer. Click on it. It's going to open its own panel and this is how it looks like. So in it, I'm going to go to effects presets and look for 2D transformation, look for WAP and click on the effect file. And it's going to give me a short preview of how it's going to look like. So this is how the effect is going to look like. Then I'm going to drag it onto this area, it says apply effect to selected layer. The layer that's selected is the main logo layer. So when I drop it here, you should see that the file is now going to wave. Let's see how that looks like. Give it, give it a moment. Yeah. The PC is a bit lagging, so give me a second there. Yeah, so you can see how the logo is waving now. So that's exactly what it does. You can see how the logo is waving. It's pretty simple. Like that's virtually everything you have to do. You can also navigate onto your effects control layer to reduce the intensity of the wave. So what I can do here is I can just come up here to intensity, click and reduce the intensity by 50%. That way the wave is not so steep and it has more calm motion versus 100% where the wave was very rough. So that's for the wave of the logo. I'm going to animate the plants now. So for the plants, you need to know that the animation has to follow the natural order. Plants either rock forward and backwards or the wave like that. So I'm going to add the forward and backward movement to some of the plants and also to add variation, I'm going to make some of them wave. So it's important to mix match some of these things to make sure that not everything looks like they're moving the same way. So everything looks a bit random because when plants are moving, they follow the trend of the wind. So things are not so um, orderly, they are quite random. So the next thing is the blue plant. So that's the one right here on and off. So you can see it's a blue plant. And I'm going to head back to the animation composer. And instead of using the WAP, I'm going to look for position and um, I think position and scale, right? Nope, not this one. No, this one is too strong. Nope. Yep. So I like the way this one looks, the way it's waving front and back. So I can just drag it onto the layer and it's going to apply it back to the composition. And I can see that it's already affecting the plant. So right now you can notice that there's been an overshoot. So you can see the part where the plant ends, it's coming out. So what I have to do is just um, reduce the intensity of the rocking forward and backwards motion, put it like 20, maybe even 10, right? So right now you can see it corrected the motion. I can push it back just a bit and hit play to see how it looks like now. Sorry about the lagging. I'm going to repeat the process for most of the effects and most of the plants inside there, the flyer to give it the same effect. Some of them are going to move in front and backwards. Some of them are going to be waving and you should have this at the end of the day.
after you're done with animating, you can find a music file that works with the whole mood of the flyer. Just put it down and export. So that's pretty much everything in two simple steps. First step, um, edit your file in um, Photoshop. Make sure you keep all the layers separate. So when you're importing it into After Effects, you're going to have it very easy. The second step is once you're in After Effects, you have to install the Mr. Horse plugin and use the free um, effects and presets to help add um, the wavy motion, the rocking forward and backwards motion to your plants and stuff like that to make your flyer look somewhat how exciting. You can extend the use of this to so many different areas. A lot of things move the same way. There are lots of other effects that maybe I didn't use those presets here, but they can apply in other fields. So you just be creative. You, I'm going to add all the descriptions and um, all the link in the description so you guys can download and knock yourself out. Um, I think that pretty much sums up everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm done today. So uh, I'm going to catch you guys next time. But before I go, I'm sure you noticed the whole background changed. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be the new sets for the videos going forward. Uh, I'm going to explain to you what changed in the next video. So don't miss it. Stay tuned. And I'm going to be posting twice a week for this whole lockdown period. That's if you're in Ghana, we're staying on for two weeks. So I'm probably going to make more videos now. Uh, so two videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you've not subscribed to the channel, I highly recommend you subscribe right now. Click the notification button so you don't miss any new videos I post. If you're new here, make sure you go and check out some of the old videos that I've done so you can come up to date and you can join the crew on what's happening on my channel. Thank you guys so much. I catch you guys next time. Bye.